In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Ha, Meme. By the Enlightening Scripture. We have revealed it on a blessed night, we have warned. In it is distinguished every wise command. A decree from us. We have been sending messages. As mercy from your Lord. He is the hearer, the knower. Lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them, if you know for sure. There is no God but He. He gives life and causes death, your Lord and Lord of your ancestors of old. Yet they play around in doubt. So watch out for the day when the sky produces a visible smoke. Enveloping mankind, this is a painful punishment. Our Lord, lift the torment from us, we are believers. But how can they be reminded? An enlightening messenger has already come to them. But they turned away from him, and said, educated, but crazy. We will ease the punishment a little, but you will revert. The day when we launch the great assault, we will avenge. Before them we tested the people of Pharaoh, a noble messenger came to them. Saying, Hand over Allah's servants to me. I am an honest messenger to you. And, do not exalt yourselves above Allah. I come to you with clear authority. I have taken refuge in my Lord and your Lord, lest you stone me. But if you do not believe in me, keep away from me. He appealed to his Lord, these are a sinful people. Set out with my servants by night, you will be followed. And cross the sea quickly, they are an army to be drowned. How many gardens and fountains did they leave behind? And plantations, and splendid buildings. And comforts they used to enjoy. So it was, and we passed it on to another people. Neither heaven nor earth wept over them, nor were they reprieved. And we delivered the children of Israel from the humiliating persecution. From Pharaoh. He was a transgressing tyrant. And we chose them knowingly over all other people. And we gave them many signs, in which was an obvious test. These people say. There is nothing but our first death, and we will not be resurrected. Bring back our ancestors, if you are truthful. Are they better, or the people of Tubba and those before them? We annihilated them. They were evildoers. We did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them to play. We created them only for a specific purpose, but most of them do not know. The day of sorting out is the appointed time for them all. The day when no friend will avail a friend in any way, and they will not be helped. Except for him upon whom Allah has mercy. He is the mighty, the merciful. The tree of bitterness. The food of the sinner. Like molten lead, boiling inside the bellies. Like the boiling of seething water. Seize him and drag him into the midst of hell. Then pour over his head the suffering of the inferno. Taste. You who were powerful and noble. This is what you used to doubt. As for the righteous, they will be in a secure place. Amidst gardens and springs. Dressed in silk and brocade, facing one another. So it is, and we will wed them to lovely companions. They will call therein for every kind of fruit, in peace and security. Therein they will not taste death, beyond the first death and he will protect them from the torment of hell. A favor from your Lord. That is the supreme salvation. We made it easy in your language, so that they may remember. So wait and watch. They too are waiting and watching. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Ha, Meme. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the Exalted in Might, the Wise. In the heavens and the earth are proofs for the believers. And in your own creation, and in the creatures he scattered, are signs for people of firm faith. And in the alternation of night and day, and in the sustenance Allah sends down from the sky, with which he revives the earth after its death, and in the circulation of the winds, are marvels for people who reason. 
these are Allah's verses which we recite to you in truth. In which message, after Allah and his revelations, will they believe? Woe to every sinful liar! Who hears Allah's revelations being recited to him, yet he persists arrogantly, as though he did not hear them. Announce to him a painful punishment. And when he learns something of our revelations, he takes them in mockery. For such there is a shameful punishment. Beyond them lies hell. What they have earned will not benefit them at all, nor will those they adopted as lords instead of Allah. They will have a terrible punishment. This is guidance. Those who blaspheme their Lord's revelations will have a punishment of agonizing pain. It is Allah who placed the sea at your service, so that ships may run through it by his command, and that you may seek of his bounty, and that you may give thanks. And he placed at your service whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth, all is from him. In that are signs for a people who think. Tell those who believe to forgive those who do not hope for the days of Allah. He will fully recompense people for whatever they have earned. Whoever does a good deed, it is for his soul, and whoever commits evil, it is against it, then to your Lord you will be returned. We gave the children of Israel the book, and wisdom, and prophecy, and we provided them with the good things, and we gave them advantage over all other people. And we gave them precise rulings. They fell into dispute only after knowledge came to them, out of mutual rivalry. Your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding the things they differed about. Then we set you upon a pathway of faith, so follow it, and do not follow the inclinations of those who do not know. They will not help you against Allah in any way. The wrongdoers are allies of one another while Allah is the protector of the righteous. This is an illumination for mankind, and guidance, and mercy for people who believe with certainty. Do those who perpetrate the evil deeds assume that we will regard them as equal to those who believe and do righteous deeds, whether in their life or their death? Evil is their judgment. Allah created the heavens and the earth with justice, so that every soul will be repaid for what it has earned and they will not be wronged. Have you considered him who has taken his desire for his God? Allah has knowingly led him astray, and has sealed his hearing and his heart, and has placed a veil over his vision. Who will guide him after Allah? Will you not reflect? And they say, there is nothing but this our present life, we die and we live, and nothing destroys us except time. But they have no knowledge of that, they are only guessing. When our clarifying verses are recited to them, their only argument is to say, Bring back our ancestors, if you are truthful. Say, Allah gives you life, then he makes you die, then he gathers you for the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. But most people do not know. To Allah belongs the kingship of the heavens and the earth. On the day when the hour takes place, on that day the falsifiers will lose. You will see every community on its knees, every community will be called to its book, today you are being repaid for what you used to do. This book of ours speaks about you in truth. We have been transcribing what you have been doing. As for those who believed and did righteous deeds, their Lord will admit them into his mercy. That is the clear triumph. But as for those who disbelieved, were my revelations not recited to you? but you turned arrogant, and were guilty people. And when it was said, the promise of Allah is true, and of the hour there is no doubt, you said, we do not know what the hour is, we think it is only speculation, we are not convinced. The evils of what they did will become evident to them, and the very thing they ridiculed will haunt them. And it will be said, today we forget you, as you forgot the encounter of this day of yours. Your abode is the fire, and there are no saviors for you. That is because you took Allah's revelations for a joke, and the worldly life lured you. So today they will not be brought out of it, and they will not be allowed to repent. Praise belongs to Allah, Lord of the heavens, Lord of the earth, 
Lord of humanity. To him belongs all supremacy in the heavens and the earth. He is the majestic, the wise. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Ha, meme. The sending down of the scripture is from Allah, the honorable, the wise. We did not create the heavens and the earth and what lies between them except with reason, and for a finite period. But the blasphemers continue to ignore the warnings they receive. Say, have you considered those you worship instead of Allah? Show me which portion of the earth they have created. Or do they own a share of the heavens? Bring me a scripture prior to this one, or some trace of knowledge, if you are truthful. Who is more wrong than him who invokes, besides Allah, those who will not answer him until the day of resurrection, and are heedless of their prayers? And when humanity is gathered, they will be enemies to them, and will renounce their worship of them? When our revelations are recited to them, plain and clear, those who disbelieve say of the truth when it has come to them, this is obviously magic. Or do they say, he invented it himself? Say, if I invented it myself, there is nothing you can do to protect me from Allah. He knows well what you are engaged in. He is sufficient witness between me and you. He is the forgiver, the merciful. Say, I am not different from the other messengers, and I do not know what will be done with me, or with you. I only follow what is inspired in me, and I am only a clear warner. Say, have you considered? What if it is from Allah and you disbelieve in it? A witness from the children of Israel testified to its like, and has believed, while you turned arrogant. Allah does not guide the unjust people. Those who disbelieve say to those who believe, if it were anything good, they would not have preceded us to it. And since they were not guided by it, they will say, this is an ancient lie. And before it was the book of Moses, a model and a mercy. And this is a confirming book, in the Arabic language, to warn those who do wrong, and good news for the doers of good. Those who say, Our Lord is Allah, then lead a righteous life, they have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. These are the inhabitants of paradise, where they will dwell forever, a reward for what they used to do. We have enjoined upon man kindness to his parents. His mother carried him with difficulty, and delivered him with difficulty. His bearing and weaning takes thirty months. Until, when he has attained his maturity, and has reached forty years, he says, Lord, enable me to appreciate the blessings you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to act with righteousness, pleasing you and improve my children for me. I have sincerely repented to you, and I am of those who have surrendered. Those are they from whom we accept the best of their deeds, and we overlook their misdeeds, among the dwellers of paradise, the promise of truth which they are promised. As for him who says to his parents, enough of you. Are you promising me that I will be raised up, when generations have passed away before me? while they cry for Allah's help, woe to you. Believe. The promise of Allah is true. But he says, these are nothing but tales of the ancients. Those are they upon whom the sentence is justified, among the communities that have passed away before them, of jinn and humans. They are truly losers. There are degrees for everyone, according to what they have done, and he will repay them for their works in full and they will not be wronged. On the day when the faithless will be paraded before the fire, you have squandered your good in your worldly life, and you took pleasure in them. So today you are being repaid with the torment of shame, because of your unjust arrogance on earth, and because you used to sin. And mention the brother of Ad, as he warned his people at the dunes. Warnings have passed away before him, and after him, worship none but Allah, I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day. They said, Did you come to us to divert us from our gods? Then bring us what you threaten us with, if you are being truthful. He said, The knowledge is only with Allah, and I inform you of what I was sent with, 
but I see you are an ignorant people. Then, when they saw a cloud approaching their valley, they said, This is a cloud that will bring us rain. In fact, it is what you were impatient for, a wind in which is grievous suffering. It will destroy everything by the command of its Lord. And when the morning came upon them, there was nothing to be seen except their dwellings. Thus we requite the guilty people. We had empowered them in the same way as we empowered you, and we gave them the hearing, and the sight, and the minds. But neither their hearing, nor their sight, nor their minds availed them in any way. That is because they disregarded the revelations of Allah, and so they became surrounded by what they used to ridicule. We have destroyed many townships around you, and diversified the signs, so that they may return. Why then did the idols, whom they worshipped as means of ninus to Allah, not help them? In fact, they abandoned them. It was their lie, a fabrication of their own making. Recall when we dispatched towards you a number of jinn, to listen to the Quran. When they came in its presence, they said, Pay attention. Then, when it was concluded, they rushed to their people, warning them. They said, O oh our people, we have heard a scripture, sent down after Moses, confirming what came before it. It guides to the truth, and to a straight path. O oh our people! Answer the caller to Allah, and believe in him, and he will forgive you your sins, and will save you from a painful punishment. He who does not answer the caller to Allah will not escape on earth, and has no protectors besides him. Those are an obvious error. Do they not realize that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and was never tired by creating them, is able to revive the dead? Yes indeed, he is capable of everything. On the day when those who disbelieved are presented to the fire, is this not real? They will say, Yes, indeed, by our Lord. He will say, Then taste the suffering for having disbelieved. So be patient as the messengers with resolve were patient, and do not be hasty regarding them. On the day when they witness what they are promised, it will seem as if they had lasted only for an hour of a day. A proclamation, will any be destroyed except the sinful people? In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Those who disbelieve and repel from the path of Allah, he nullifies their works. While those who believe, and work righteousness, and believe in what was sent down to Muhammad, and it is the truth from their Lord, he remits their sins, and relieves their concerns. That is because those who disbelieve follow falsehoods, while those who believe follow the truth from their Lord. Allah thus cites for the people their examples. When you encounter those who disbelieve, strike at their necks. Then, when you have rooted them, bind them firmly. Then, either release them by grace, or by ransom, until war lays down its burdens. Had Allah willed, he could have defeated them himself, but he thus tests some of you by means of others. As for those who are killed in the way of Allah, he will not let their deeds go to waste. He will guide them, and will improve their state of mind. And will admit them into paradise, which he has identified for them. O you who believe! If you support Allah, he will support you, and will strengthen your foothold. But as for those who disbelieve, for them is petition, and he will waste their deeds. That is because they hated what Allah revealed, so he nullified their deeds. Have they not journeyed through the earth and seen the consequences for those before them? Allah poured destruction upon them, and for the unbelievers is something comparable. That is because Allah is the master of those who believe, while the disbelievers have no master. Allah will admit those who believe and do good deeds into gardens beneath which rivers flow. As for those who disbelieve, they enjoy themselves, and eat as cattle eat, and the fire will be their dwelling. How many a town was more powerful than your town which evicted you? We destroyed them, and there was no helper for them. Is he who stands upon evidence from his Lord, like someone whose evil deed is made to appear good to him? 
and they follow their own desires? The likeness of the garden promised to the righteous, in it are rivers of pure water, and rivers of milk forever fresh, and rivers of wine delightful to the drinkers, and rivers of strained honey. And therein they will have of every fruit, and forgiveness from their Lord. Like one abiding in the fire forever, and are given to drink boiling water, that cuts up their bowels? Among them are those who listen to you, but when they leave your presence, they say to those given knowledge, What did he say just now? Those are they whose hearts Allah has sealed, and they follow their own desires. As for those who are guided, he increases them in guidance, and he has granted them their righteousness. Are they just waiting until the hour comes to them suddenly? Its tokens have already come. But how will they be reminded when it has come to them? Know that there is no God but Allah, and ask forgiveness for your sin, and for the believing men and believing women. Allah knows your movements, and your resting place. Those who believe say, if only a chapter is sent down. Yet when a decisive chapter is sent down, and fighting is mentioned in it, you see those in whose hearts is sickness looking at you with the look of someone fainting at death. So woe to them! Obedience and upright speech. Then, when the matter is settled, being true to Allah would have been better for them. If you turn away, you are likely to make mischief on earth, and sever your family ties. Those are they whom Allah has cursed. He made them deaf and blinded their sight. Will they not bond the Quran? Or are the locks upon their hearts? Those who reverted after the guidance became clear to them, Satan has enticed them, and has given them latitude. That is because they said to those who hated what Allah has revealed, we will obey you in certain matters. But Allah knows their secret thoughts. How about when the angels take them at death? beating their faces and their backs. That is because they pursued what displeases Allah, and they disliked his approval, so he nullified their works. Do those in whose hearts is sickness think that Allah will not expose their malice? Had we willed, we could have shown them to you, and you would have recognized them by their marks. Yet you will recognize them by their tone of speech. And Allah knows your actions. We will certainly test you, until we know those among you who strive, and those who are steadfast, and we will test your reactions. Those who disbelieve, and hinder from the path of Allah, and oppose the messenger after guidance has become clear to them, they will not hurt Allah in the least, but he will nullify their deeds. O you who believe! Obey Allah, and obey the messenger, and do not let your deeds go to waste. Those who disbelieve, and hinder from Allah's path, and then die as disbelievers, Allah will not forgive them. So do not waver and call for peace while you have the upper hand. Allah is with you, and he will not waste your efforts. The life of this world is nothing but play and pastime. But if you have faith and lead a righteous life, he will grant you your rewards, and he will not ask you for your possessions. Were he to ask you for it, and press you, you would become tight-fisted, and he would expose your unwillingness. Here you are, being called to spend in the cause of Allah. Among you are those who withhold, but whoever withholds is withholding against his own soul. Allah is the rich, while you are the needy. And if you turn away, he will replace you with another people, and they will not be like you. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. We have granted you a conspicuous victory. That Allah may forgive you your sin, past and to come, and complete his favors upon you, and guide you in a straight path. And help you with an unwavering support. It is he who sent down tranquility into the hearts of the believers, to add faith to their faith. To Allah belong the forces of the heavens and the earth. Allah is knowing and wise. He will admit the believers, male and female, into gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein forever, and he will remit their sins. That, with Allah, is a great triumph. And he will punish the hypocrites, 
male and female, and the idolaters, male and female, those who harbor evil thoughts about Allah. They are surrounded by evil, and Allah is angry with them, and has cursed them, and has prepared for them hell, a miserable destination. To Allah belong the troops of the heavens and the earth. Allah is mighty and wise. We sent you as a witness, and a bearer of good news, and a warner. That you may believe in Allah and his messenger, and support him, and honor him, and praise him morning and evening. Those who pledge allegiance to you are pledging allegiance to Allah. The hand of Allah is over their hands. Whoever breaks his pledge breaks it to his own loss. And whoever fulfills his covenant with Allah, he will grant him a great reward. The desert Arabs who remained behind will say to you, Our belongings and our families have preoccupied us, so ask forgiveness for us. They say with their tongues what is not in their hearts. Say, who can avail you anything against Allah, if he desires loss for you, or desires gain for you? In fact, Allah is informed of what you do. But you thought that the messenger and the believers will never return to their families, and this seemed fine to your hearts, and you harbored evil thoughts, and were uncivilized people. He who does not believe in Allah and his messenger, we have prepared for the disbelievers a blazing fire. To Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He forgives whomever he wills, and he punishes whomever he wills. Allah is forgiving and merciful. Those who lagged behind will say when you depart to collect the gains, let us follow you. They want to change the word of Allah. Say, you will not follow us, Allah has said so before. Then they will say, but you are jealous of us. In fact, they understand only a little. Say to the desert Arabs who lagged behind, you will be called against to people of great might, you will fight them, unless they submit. If you obey, Allah will give you a fine reward. But if you turn away, as you turned away before, he will punish you with a painful punishment. There is no blame on the blind, nor any blame on the lame, nor any blame on the sick. Whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow, but whoever turns away, he will punish him with a painful punishment. Allah was pleased with the believers, when they pledged allegiance to you under the tree. He knew what was in their hearts, and sent down serenity upon them, and rewarded them with an imminent conquest. And abundant gains for them to capture. Allah is mighty and wise. Allah has promised you abundant gains, which you will capture. He has expedited this for you, and has restrained people's hands from you, that it may be a sign to the believers, and that he may guide you on a straight path. And other things, of which you were incapable, but Allah has encompassed them. Allah is capable of everything. If those who disbelieve had fought you, they would have turned back and fled, then found neither protector nor helper. It is Allah's pattern, ongoing since the past. You will never find any change in Allah's pattern. It is He who withheld their hands from you, and your hands from them, in the valley of Mecca, after giving you advantage over them. Allah is observer of what you do. It is they who disbelieved, and barred you from the sacred mosque, and prevented the offering from reaching its destination. Were it not for faithful men and faithful women, whom you did not know, you were about to hurt them, and became guilty of an unintentional crime. Thus Allah admits into his mercy whomever he wills. Had they dispersed, we would have punished those who disbelieved among them with a painful penalty. Those who disbelieved filled their hearts with rage, the rage of the days of ignorance. But Allah sent his serenity down upon his messenger, and upon the believers, and imposed on them the words of righteousness, of which they were most worthy and deserving. Allah is aware of everything. Allah has fulfilled his messenger's vision in truth, you will enter the sacred mosque, Allah willing, in security, head shaven, or hair cut short, not fearing. He knew what you did not know, and has granted besides that an imminent victory. 
it is he who sent his messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth, to make it prevail over all religions. Allah suffices as witness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Those with him are stern against the disbelievers, yet compassionate amongst themselves. You see them kneeling, prostrating, seeking blessings from Allah and approval. Their marks are on their faces from the effects of prostration. Such is their description in the Torah, and their description in the Gospel, like a plant that sprouts, becomes strong, grows thick, and rests on its stem, impressing the farmers. Through them he enrages the disbelievers. Allah has promised those among them who believe and do good deeds forgiveness and a great reward. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. O you who believe! Do not place your opinions above that of Allah and His Messenger, and fear Allah. Allah is hearing and knowing. O you who believe! Do not raise your voices above the voice of the Prophet, and do not speak loudly to him, as you speak loudly to one another, lest your works be in vain without you realizing. Those who lower their voices before Allah's Messenger, those are they whose hearts Allah has tested for piety. They will have forgiveness and a great reward. Those who call you from behind the chambers, most of them do not understand. Had they remained patient until you came out to them, it would have been better for them. But Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who believe! If a troublemaker brings you any news, investigate, lest you harm people out of ignorance, and you become regretful for what you have done. And know that among you is the Messenger of Allah. Had he obeyed you in many things, you would have suffered hardship. But Allah has given you the love of faith, and adorned it in your hearts, and made disbelief, mischief, and rebellion hateful to you. These are the rightly guided. A grace and favor from Allah. Allah is knowing and wise. If two groups of believers fight each other, reconcile between them. But if one group aggresses against the other, fight the aggressing group until it complies with Allah's command. Once it has complied, reconcile between them with justice, and be equitable. Allah loves the equitable. The believers are brothers, so reconcile between your brothers, and remain conscious of Allah, so that you may receive mercy. O you who believe! No people shall ridicule other people, for they may be better than they. Nor shall any women ridicule other women, for they may be better than they. Nor shall you slander one another, nor shall you insult one another with names. Evil is the return to wickedness after having attained faith. Whoever does not repent, these are the wrongdoers. O you who believe! Avoid most suspicion, some suspicion is sinful. And do not spy on one another, nor backbite one another. Would any of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You would detest it. So remain mindful of Allah. Allah is most relenting, most merciful. O people! We created you from a male and a female, and made you races and tribes, that you may know one another. The best among you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous. Allah is all-knowing, well experienced. The desert Arabs say, we have believed. Say, you have not believed, but say, we have submitted, for faith has not yet entered into your hearts. But if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not diminish any of your deeds. Allah is forgiving and merciful. The believers are those who believe in Allah and his messenger, and then have not doubted, and strive for Allah's cause with their wealth and their persons. These are the sincere. Say, are you going to teach Allah about your religion, when Allah knows everything in the heavens and the earth, and Allah is aware of all things? They regarded it a favor to you that they have submitted. Say, do not consider your submission a favor to me, it is Allah who has done you a favor by guiding you to the faith, if you are sincere. Allah knows the secrets of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is seeing of everything you do. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Kof. By the Glorious Quran.
they marveled at a warner has come to them from among them. The disbelievers say, this is something strange. When we have died and become dust. This is a far-fetched return. We know what the earth consumes of them, and with us is a comprehensive book. But they denied the truth when it has come to them, so they are in a confused state. Have they not observed the sky above them, how we constructed it, and decorated it, and it has no cracks? And the earth, how we spread it out, and set on it mountains, and grew in it all kinds of delightful pears? A lesson and a reminder for every penitent worshipper. And we brought down from the sky blessed water, and produced with it gardens and grain to harvest. And the soaring palm trees, with clustered dates. As sustenance for the servants. And we revive there by a dead town. Likewise is the resurrection. Before them the people of Noah denied the truth, and so did the dwellers of Ras, and Thamud. And Ad, and Pharaoh, and the brethren of Lot. And the dwellers of the woods, and the people of Tubba. They all rejected the messengers, so my threat came true. Were we fatigued by the first creation? But they are in doubt of a new creation. We created the human being, and we know what his soul whispers to him. We are nearer to him than his jugular vein. As the two receivers receive, seated to the right and to the left. Not a word does he utter, but there is a watch by him, ready. The days of death has come in truth, this is what you tried to evade. And the trumpet is blown, this is the promised day. And every soul will come forward, accompanied by a driver and a witness. You were in neglect of this, so we lifted your screen from you, and your vision today is keen. And his escort will say, This is what I have ready with me. Throw into hell every stubborn disbeliever, preventer of good, aggressor, doubter, who fabricated another god with Allah toss him into the intense agony? His escort will say, Our Lord, I did not make him rebel, but he was far astray. He will say, Do not feud in my presence, I had warned you in advance. The decree from me will not be changed, and I am not unjust to the servants. On the day when we will say to hell, Are you full? And it will say, Are there any more? and paradise will be brought closer to the pious, not far away. This is what you were promised, for every careful penitent, who inwardly feared the most gracious, and came with a repentant heart. Enter it in peace. This is the day of eternity. Therein they will have whatever they desire, and we have even more. How many generations before them, who were more powerful than they, did we destroy? They explored the lands, was there any escape? In that is a reminder for whoever possesses a heart, or cares to listen and witness. We created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six days, and no fatigue touched us. So endure what they say, and proclaim the praises of your Lord before the rising of the sun, and before sunset. And glorify him during the night, and at the end of devotions and listen for the day when the caller calls from a nearby place. The day when they will hear the shout in all truth. That is the day of emergence. It is we who control life and death, and to us is the destination. The day when the earth will crack for them at once. That is an easy gathering for us. We are fully aware of what they say, and you are not a dictator over them. So remind by the Quran whoever fears my warning. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. By the spreaders spreading. And those carrying loads. And those moving gently. And those distributing as commanded. What you are promised is true. Judgment will take place. By the sky that is woven. You differ in what you say. Averted from it is he who is averted. Perish the impostors. Those who are dazed in ignorance. They ask, when is the day of judgment? The day they are presented to the fire. 
taste your ordeal. This is what you used to challenge. But the pious are amidst gardens and springs. Receiving what their Lord has given them. They were virtuous before that. They used to sleep a little at night. And at dawn, they would pray for pardon. And in their wealth, there was a share for the beggar and the deprived. And on earth are signs for the convinced. And within yourselves. Do you not see? And in the heaven is your livelihood, and what you are promised. By the Lord of the heaven and the earth, it is as true as the fact that you speak. Has the story of Abraham's honorable guests reached you? When they entered upon him, they said, Peace. He said, Peace, strangers. Then he slipped away to his family, and brought a fatted calf. He set it before them. He said, Will you not eat? And he harbored fear of them. They said, Do not fear, and they announced to him the good news of a knowledgeable boy. His wife came forward crying. She clasped her face, and said, A barren old woman? They said, Thus spoke your Lord. He is the wise, the knowing. He said, What is your business, O envoys? They said, We are sent to a people guilty of sin. To unleash upon them rocks of clay. Marked by your Lord for the excessive. We evacuated all the believers who were in it. But found in it only one household of Muslims. And we left in it a sign for those who fear the painful punishment. And in Moses. We sent him to Pharaoh with a clear authority. But he turned away with his warlords, and said, A sorcerer or a madman. So we seized him and his troops, and threw them into the sea, and he was to blame. And in Ad. We unleashed against them the devastating wind. It spared nothing it came upon, but rendered it like decayed ruins. And in Thamud. They were told, enjoy yourselves for a while. But they defied the command of their Lord, so the lightning struck them as they looked on. They could not rise up, nor could they find help. And before that, the people of Noah. They were immoral people. We constructed the universe with power, and we are expanding it. And the earth, we spread it out, how well we prepared it. We created all things in pairs so that you may reflect and ponder. So flee towards Allah. I am to you from him a clear warner. And do not set up any other god with Allah. I am to you from him a clear warner. Likewise, no messenger came to those before them, but they said, a sorcerer or a madman. Did they recommend it to one another? In fact, they are rebellious people. So turn away from them, you are not to blame. And remind, for the reminder benefits the believers. I did not create the jinn and the humans except to worship me. I need no livelihood from them, nor do I need them to feed me. Allah is the provider, the one with power, the strong. Those who do wrong will have their turn, like the turn of their counterparts, so let them not rush me. So woe to those who disbelieve because of that day of theirs which they are promised. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. By the Mount. And a book inscribed. In a published scroll. And the frequented house. And the elevated roof. And the seething sea. The punishment of your Lord is coming. There is nothing to avert it. On the day when the heaven sways in agitation and the mountains go into motion. Woe on that day to the deniers. Those who play with speculation. The day when they are shoved into the fire of hell forcefully. This is the fire which you used to deny. Is this magic, or do you not see? Burn in it. Whether you are patient, or impatient, it is the same for you. You are only being repaid for what you used to do but the righteous will be amid gardens and bliss. Enjoying what their Lord has given them, and their Lord has spared them the suffering of hell. Eat and drink happily, for what you used to do. 
relaxing on luxurious furnishings, and we will couple them with gorgeous spouses. Those who believed, and their offspring followed them in faith, we will unite them with their offspring, and we will not deprive them of any of their works. Every person is hostage to what he has earned. And we will supply them with fruit, and meat, such as they desire. They will exchange their inner cup, wherein is neither harm, nor sin. Serving them will be youths like hidden pearls. And they will approach one another, inquiring. They will say, Before this, we were fearful for our families. But Allah blessed us, and spared us the agony of the fiery winds. Before this, we used to pray to Him. He is the good, the compassionate. So remind. By the grace of your Lord, you are neither a soothsayer, nor a madman. Or do they say, a poet, we await for him a calamity of time? Say, go on waiting, I will be waiting with you. Or is it that their dreams compel them to this? Or are they aggressive people? Or do they say, he made it up? Rather, they do not believe. So let them produce a discourse like it, if they are truthful. Or were they created out of nothing? Or are they the creators? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? In fact, they are not certain. Or do they possess the treasuries of your Lord? Or are they the controllers? Or do they have a stairway by means of which they listen? Then let their listener produce a clear proof. Or for him the daughters, and for you the sons? Or do you demand a payment from them, and they are burdened by debt? Or do they know the future, and they are writing it down? Or are they planning a conspiracy? The conspiracy will befall the disbelievers. Or do they have a God besides Allah? Allah transcends what they associate. Even if they were to see lumps of the sky falling down, they would say, a mass of clouds. So leave them until they meet their day in which they will be stunned. The day when their ploys will avail them nothing and they will not be helped. For those who do wrong, there is a punishment besides that, but most of them do not know. So patiently await the decision of your Lord, for you are before our eyes, and proclaim the praises of your Lord when you arise. And glorify him during the night, and at the receding of the stars. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. By the stars it goes down. Your friend has not gone astray, nor has he erred? Nor does he speak out of desire? It is but a revelation revealed. Taught to him by the extremely powerful. The one of vigor. He settled. While he was at the highest horizon. Then he came near, and hovered around. He was within two bows length, or closer. Then he revealed to his servant what he revealed. The heart did not lie about what it saw. Will you dispute with him concerning what he saw? He saw him on another descent. At the lotus tree of the extremity. Near which is the garden of repose. As the covered the lotus tree what covered it? The sight did not waver, nor did it exceed. He saw some of the great signs of his Lord. Have you considered Al-Lat and al sir? And Manat? the third one, the other? Are you to have the males, and he the females? What a bizarre distribution! These are nothing but names, which you have devised, you and your ancestors, for which Allah sent down no authority. They follow nothing but assumptions, and what the ego desires, even though guidance has come to them from their Lord. Or is the human being to have whatever he desires? To Allah belong the last and the first. How many an angel is there in the heavens whose intercession avails nothing, except after Allah gives permission to whomever he wills, and approves? Those who do not believe in the hereafter give the angels the names of females. They have no knowledge of that. They only follow assumptions, and assumptions are no substitute for the truth. So avoid him who has turned away from our remembrance and desires nothing but the present life.
that is the extent of their knowledge. Your Lord knows best who has strayed from his path, and he knows best who has accepted guidance. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth. He will repay those who do evil according to their deeds, and recompense those who do good with the best. Those who avoid gross sins and indecencies, except for minor lapses, your Lord is of vast forgiveness. He knows you well, ever since he created you from the earth, and ever since you were embryos in your mother's wombs. So do not acclaim your own virtue, he is fully aware of the righteous. Have you considered him who turned away? And gave a little, and held back? Does he possess knowledge of the unseen, and can therefore foresee? Or was he not informed of what is in the scrolls of Moses? And of Abraham, who fulfilled? That no soul bears the burdens of another soul. And that the human being attains only what he strives for. And that his efforts will be witnessed. Then he will be rewarded for it, the fullest reward. And that to your Lord is the finality. And that it is he who causes laughter and weeping. And that it is he who gives death and life. And that it is he who created the two kinds, the male and the female. From a sperm drop, when emitted. And that upon him is the next existence. And that it is he who enriches and impoverishes. And that it is he who is the Lord of Sirius. And that it is he who destroyed the first ad. And Thamud, sparing no one. And the people of Noah before that for they were most unjust and most oppressive. And he toppled the ruined cities. And covered them with whatever covered them. So which of your Lord's marvels can you deny? This is a warning, just like the first warnings. The inevitable is imminent. None besides Allah can unveil it. Do you marvel at this discourse? And laugh, and do not weep. Lost in your frivolity? So bow down to Allah, and worship. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. The hour has drawn near, and the moon has split. Yet whenever they see a miracle, they turn away, and say, continuous magic. They lied, and followed their opinions, but everything has its time. And there came to them news containing a deterrent. Profound wisdom, but warnings are of no avail. So turn away from them. On the day when the caller calls to something terrible. Their eyes humiliated, they will emerge from the graves, as if they were swarming locusts. Scrambling towards the caller, the disbelievers will say, this is a difficult day. Before them the people of Noah disbelieved. They rejected our servant, and said, crazy, and he was rebuked. So he appealed to his Lord. I am overwhelmed, so help me. So we opened the floodgates of heaven with water pouring down. And we made the earth burst with springs, and the waters met for a purpose already destined. And we carried him on a craft of planks and nails. Sailing before our eyes, a reward for him who was rejected? And we left it as a sign? Is there anyone who would take heed? So how were my punishment and my warnings? We made the Quran easy to learn. Is there anyone who will learn? I denied the truth. So how were my punishment and my warnings? We unleashed upon them a screaming wind, on a day of unrelenting misery. Plucking the people away, as though they were trunks of uprooted palm trees. So how were my punishment and my warnings? We made the Quran easy to remember. Is there anyone who would remember? Thamud rejected the warnings. They said, Are we to follow one of us, a human being? We would then go astray, and end up in hell. Was the message given to him, out of all of us? In fact, he is a wicked liar. They will know tomorrow who the wicked liar is. We are sending the sheikh camel as a test for them so watch them and be patient. And inform them that the water is to be shared between them, each share of drink made available. But they called their friend, and he dared, 
and he slaughtered. So how were my punishment and my warnings? We sent against them a single scream, and they became like crushed hay. We made the Quran easy to understand. Is there anyone who would understand? The people of Lot rejected the warnings. We unleashed upon them a shower of stones, except for the family of Lot, we rescued them at dawn. A blessing from us. Thus we reward the thankful. He had warned them of our onslaught, but they dismissed the warnings. They even lusted for his guest, so we obliterated their eyes. So taste my punishment and my warnings. Early morning brought upon them enduring punishment. So taste my punishment and my warnings. We made the Quran easy to memorize. Is there anyone who would memorize? The warnings also came to the people of Pharaoh. They rejected our signs, all of them, so we seized them, the seizure of an almighty omnipotent. Are your unbelievers better than all those? Or do you have immunity in the scriptures? Or do they say, we are united, and we will be victorious? The multitude will be defeated, and they will turn their backs. The hour is their appointed time, the hour is more disastrous, and most bitter. The wicked are in confusion and madness. The day when they are dragged upon their faces into the fire, taste the touch of Sakar. Everything we created is precisely measured. And our command is but once, like the twinkling of an eye. We have destroyed your likes. Is there anyone who would ponder? Everything they have done is in the books. Everything, small or large, is written down. The righteous will be amidst gardens and rivers. In an assembly of virtue, in the presence of an omnipotent king. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful, the compassionate, has taught the Quran. He created man. And taught him clear expression. The sun and the moon move according to plan. And the stars and the trees prostrate themselves. And the sky, he raised, and he set up the balance. So do not transgress in the balance. But maintain the weights with justice, and do not violate the balance. And the earth, he set up for the creatures. In it are fruits, and palms in clusters. And grains in the blades, and fragrant plants. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? He created man from hard clay, like bricks. And created the jinn from a fusion of fire. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Lord of the two Easts and Lord of the two Wests. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? He merged the two seas, converging together. Between them is a barrier, which they do not overrun. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? From them emerge pearls and coral. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? His are the ships, raised above the sea like landmarks. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Everyone upon it is perishing. But will remain the presence of your Lord, full of majesty and splendor. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Everyone in the heavens and the earth asks him. Every day he is managing. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? We will attend to you, O prominent too. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? O society of jinn and humans. If you can pass through the bounds of the heavens and the earth, go ahead and pass. But you will not pass except with authorization. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? You will be bombarded with flares of fire and brass, and you will not succeed. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? When the sky splits apart, and becomes rose, like paint. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? On that day, no human and no jinn will be asked about his sins. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? The guilty will be recognized by their marks, they will be taken by the forelocks and the feet. 
So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? This is hell that the guilty denied. They circulate between it and between a seething bath. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? But for him who feared the standing of his Lord are two gardens. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Full of varieties. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? In the Martu flowing springs. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? In them are fruits of every kind, in pairs. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Reclining on furnishings lined with brocade, and the fruits of the two gardens are near at hand. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? In them are maidens restraining their glances, untouched before by any man or jinn. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? As though they were rubies and corals. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Is the reward of goodness anything but goodness? So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? And beneath them are two gardens. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Deep green. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? In them are two gushing springs. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? In them are fruits, and date palms, and pomegranates. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? In them are good and beautiful ones. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Companions, secluded in the tents. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Whom no human has touched before, nor jinn. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Reclining on green cushions, and exquisite carpets. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? Blessed be the name of your Lord, full of majesty and splendor. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. When the inevitable occurs. Of its occurrence, there is no denial. Bringing low, raising high. When the earth is shaken with a shock. And the mountains are crushed and crumbled. And they become scattered dust. And you become three classes. Those on the right, what of those on the right? And those on the left, what of those on the left? And the forerunners, the forerunners. Those are the nearest. In the gardens of bliss. A throng from the ancients. And a small band from the latecomers. On luxurious furnishings. Reclining on them, facing one another. Serving them will be immortalized youth. With cups, pitchers, and sparkling drinks. Causing them neither headache, nor intoxication. And fruits of their choice. And meat of birds that they may desire. And lovely companions. The likenesses of treasured pearls. As a reward for what they used to do. Therein they will hear no nonsense and no accusations. But only the greeting, peace, peace. And those on the right, what of those on the right? In lush orchards. And sweet-smelling plants. And extended shade. And outpouring water. And abundant fruit. Neither withheld, nor forbidden. And uplifted mattresses. We have created them of special creation and made them virgins, tender and unaging. For those on the right, a throng from the ancients, and a throng from the latecomers. And those on the left, what of those on the left? Amid searing wind and boiling water, and a shadow of thick smoke, neither cool, nor refreshing. They had lived before that in luxury, and they used to persist in immense wrongdoing. And they used to say, when we are dead and turned into dust and bones, are we to be resurrected? And our ancient ancestors too? Say, the first and the last. Will be gathered for the appointment of a familiar day. Then you, you misguided, who deny the truth. Will be eating from the tree of bitterness. Will be filling your bellies with it. Will be drinking on top of it boiling water. 
drinking like thirsty camels drink. That is their hospitality on the day of retribution. We created you, if only you would believe. Have you seen what you ejaculate? Is it you who create it, or are we the creator? We have decreed death among you, and we will not be outstripped. In replacing you with your likes, and transforming you into what you do not know, you have known the first formation, if only you would remember? Have you seen what you cultivate? Is it you who make it grow, or are we the grower? If we will, we can turn it into rubble, then you will lament. We are penalized. No, we are being deprived. Have you seen the water you drink? Is it you who sent it down from the clouds, or are we the sender? If we will, we can make it salty. Will you not be thankful? Have you seen the fire you kindle? Is it you who produce its tree, or are we the producer? We have made it a reminder, and a comfort for the users. So glorify the name of your great Lord. I swear by the locations of the stars. It is an oath, if you only knew, that is tremendous. It is a noble Quran. In a well protected book. None can grasp it except the purified. A revelation from the Lord of the worlds. Is it this discourse that you take so lightly? And you make it your livelihood to deny it? So when it has reached the throat. As you are looking on. We are nearer to it than you are, but you do not see. If you are not held to account. Then bring it back, if you are truthful. But if he is one of those brought near. Then happiness, and flowers, and garden of delights. And if he is one of those on the right. Then, peace upon you, from those on the right. But if he is one of the deniers, the mistaken. Then a welcome of inferno. And burning in hell. This is the certain truth. So glorify the name of your Lord, the Magnificent. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Glorifying Allah is everything in the heavens and the earth. He is the Almighty, the Wise. To Him belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He gives life and causes death, and He has power over all things. He is the first and the last, and the outer and the inner, and He has knowledge of all things. It is He who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then settled over the throne. He knows what penetrates into the earth, and what comes out of it, and what descends from the sky, and what ascends to it. And He is with you wherever you may be. Allah is seeing of everything you do. To Him belongs the kingship of the heavens and the earth, and to Allah all matters are referred. He merges the night into the day, and He merges the day into the night, and He knows what the hearts contains. Believe in Allah and His Messenger, and spend from what He made you inherit. Those among you who believe and give will have a great reward. What is the matter with you that you do not believe in Allah? when the messenger calls you to believe in your Lord, and he has received a pledge from you, if you are believers. It is he who sends down upon his servant clear revelations, to bring you out of darkness into the light. Allah is gentle towards you, most compassionate. And why is it that you do not spend in the cause of Allah, when to Allah belongs the inheritance of the heavens and the earth? Not equal among you are those who contributed before the conquest, and fought. Those are higher in rank than those who contributed afterwards, and fought. But Allah promises both a good reward. Allah is well experienced in what you do. Who is he who will lend Allah a loan of goodness, that he may double it for him, and will have a generous reward? On the day when you see the believing men and believing women, their light radiating ahead of them, and to their right, good news for you today, gardens beneath which rivers flow, dwelling therein forever. That is the great triumph. On the day when the hypocritical men and hypocritical women will say to those who believed, wait for us, let us absorb some of your light. It will be said, go back behind you, and seek light. 
a wall will be raised between them, in which is a door, within it is mercy, and outside it is agony. They will call to them, Were we not with you? They will say, Yes, but you cheated your souls, and waited, and doubted, and became deluded by wishful thinking, until the command of Allah arrived, and arrogance deceived you regarding Allah. Therefore, today no ransom will be accepted from you, nor from those who disbelieved. The fire is your refuge. It is your companion, what an evil fate! Is it not time for those who believe to surrender their hearts to the remembrance of Allah, and to the truth that has come down, and not be like those who were given the book previously, but time became prolonged for them, so their hearts hardened, and many of them are sinners? Know that Allah revives the earth after its death. We thus explain the revelations for you, so that you may understand. The charitable men and charitable women, who have loaned Allah a loan of righteousness, it will be multiplied for them, and for them is a generous reward. Those who believe in Allah and His messengers, these are the sincere and the witnesses with their Lord, they will have their reward and their light. But as for those who disbelieve and deny our revelations, these are the inmates of the blaze. Know that the worldly life is only play, and distraction, and glitter, and boasting among you, and rivalry in wealth and children. It is like a rainfall that produces plants, and delights the disbelievers. But then it withers, and you see it yellowing, and then it becomes debris. While in the hereafter there is severe agony, and forgiveness from Allah, and acceptance. The life of this world is nothing but enjoyment of vanity. Race towards forgiveness from your Lord, and a garden as vast as the heavens and the earth, prepared for those who believe in Allah and His messengers. That is the grace of Allah, He bestows it on whomever He wills. Allah is the possessor of immense grace. No calamity occurs on earth, or in your souls, but it is in a book, even before we make it happen. That is easy for Allah. That you may not sorrow over what eludes you, nor exult over what he has given you. Allah does not love the proud snob. Those who are stingy, and induce people to be stingy. Whoever turns away, Allah is the independent, the praiseworthy. We sent our messengers with the clear proofs, and we sent down with them the book and the balance, that humanity may uphold justice. And we sent down iron, in which is violent force, and benefits for humanity. That Allah may know who supports him and his messengers invisibly. Allah is strong and powerful. We sent Noah and Abraham, and established in their line prophethood and the scripture. Some of them are guided, but many of them are sinners. Then we sent in their wake our messengers, and followed up with Jesus son of Mary, and we gave him the gospel, and instilled in the hearts of those who followed him compassion and mercy. But as for the monasticism which they invented, we did not ordain it for them, only to seek Allah's approval. But they did not observe it with its due observance. So we gave those of them who believed their reward, but many of them are sinful. O you who believe! Fear Allah, and believe in his messenger, he will give you a double portion of his mercy and will give you a light by which you walk, and will forgive you. Allah is forgiving and merciful. That the people of the book may know that they have no power whatsoever over Allah's grace, and that all grace is in Allah's hand, he gives it to whomever he wills. Allah is possessor of great grace. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Allah has heard the statement of she who argued with you concerning her husband as she complained to Allah. Allah heard your conversation. Allah is hearing and seeing. Those of you who estrange their wives by equating them with their mothers, they are not their mothers. Their mothers are none else but those who gave birth to them. What they say is evil, and a blatant lie. But Allah is pardoning and forgiving. Those who estrange their wives by equating them with their mothers, then go back on what they said, must set free a slave before they may touch one another. To this you are exhorted, 
and Arlo is well aware of what you do. But whoever cannot find the means must fast for two consecutive months before they may touch one another. And if he is unable, then the feeding of sixty needy people. This, in order that you affirm your faith in Allah and his messenger. These are the ordinances of Allah. The unbelievers will have a painful punishment. Those who oppose Allah and his messenger will be subdued, as those before them were subdued. We have revealed clear messages. The unbelievers will have a demeaning punishment. On the day when Allah resurrects them all, and informs them of what they did. Allah has kept count of it, but they have forgotten it. Allah is witness over everything. Do you not realize that Allah knows everything in the heavens and everything on earth? There is no secret counsel between three, but he is their fourth, nor between five, but he is their sixth, nor less than that, nor more, but he is with them wherever they may be. Then, on the day of resurrection, he will inform them of what they did. Allah has knowledge of everything. Have you noted those who were prohibited from conspiring secretly, but then reverted to what they were prohibited from? They conspire to commit sin, and aggression, and defiance of the messenger. And when they come to you, they greet you with a greeting that Allah never greeted you with. And they say within themselves, Why does Allah not punish us for what we say? Hell is enough for them. They will roast in it. What a miserable destiny! O you who believe! When you converse secretly, do not converse in sin, and aggression, and disobedience of the messenger, but converse in virtue and piety, and fear Allah, to whom you will be gathered. Conspiracies are from Satan, that he may dishearten those who believe, but he will not harm them in the least, except by leave of Allah. So let the believers put their trust in Allah. O you who believe! When you are told to make room in your gatherings, make room, Allah will make room for you. And when you are told to disperse, disperse. Allah elevates those among you who believe, and those given knowledge, many steps. Allah is aware of what you do. O you who believe! When you converse privately with the messenger, offer something in charity before your conversation. That is better for you, and purer. But if you do not find the means, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Are you reluctant to offer charity before your conversation? If you do not do so, and Allah pardons you, then perform the prayer, and give alms, and obey Allah and his messenger. Allah is aware of what you do. Have you considered those who befriended a people with whom Allah has become angry? They are not of you, nor of them. And they swear to a lie while they know. Allah has prepared for them a terrible punishment. Evil is what they used to do. They took their oaths as a screen, and prevented others from Allah's path. They will have a shameful punishment. Neither their possessions nor their children will avail them anything against Allah. These are the inhabitants of the fire, dwelling therein forever. On the day when Allah will resurrect them all together, they will swear to him, as they swear to you, thinking that they are upon something. Indeed, they themselves are the liars. Satan has taken hold of them, and so has caused them to forget the remembrance of Allah. These are the partisans of Satan. Indeed, it is Satan's partisans who are the losers. Those who oppose Allah and his messenger are among the lowliest. Allah has written, I will certainly prevail, I and my messengers. Allah is strong and mighty. You will not find a people who believe in Allah and the last day, loving those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even if they were their parents, or their children, or their siblings, or their close relatives. These, he has inscribed faith in their hearts, and has supported them with a spirit from him. And he will admit them into gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will dwell forever. Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. These are the partisans of Allah. Indeed, it is Allah's partisans who are the successful. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful.
glorifying Allah is all that exists in the heavens and the earth. He is the Almighty, the Most Wise. It is He who evicted those who disbelieved among the people of the book from their homes at the first mobilization. You did not think they would leave, and they thought their fortresses would protect them from Allah. But Allah came at them from where they never expected, and threw terror into their hearts. They wrecked their homes with their own hands, and by the hands of the believers. Therefore, take a lesson, O you who have insight. Had Allah not decreed exile for them, he would have punished them in this life. But in the hereafter they will have the punishment of the fire. That is because they opposed Allah and his messenger. Whoever opposes Allah, Allah is stern in retribution. Whether you cut down a tree, or leave it standing on its trunk, it is by Allah's will. He will surely disgrace the sinners. Whatever Allah has bestowed upon his messenger from them, you spurred neither horse nor camel for them, but Allah gives authority to his messengers over whomever he will. Allah is able to do all things. Whatever Allah restored to his messenger from the inhabitants of the villages belongs to Allah, and to the messenger, and to the relatives, and to the orphans, and to the poor, and to the wayfarer, so that it may not circulate solely between the wealthy among you. Whatever the messenger gives you, accept it, and whatever he forbids you, abstain from it. And fear Allah. Allah is severe in punishment. To the poor refugees who were driven out of their homes and their possessions, as they sought the favor of Allah and his approval, and came to the aid of Allah and his messenger. These are the sincere. And those who, before them, had settled in the homeland, and had accepted faith. They love those who emigrated to them, and find no hesitation in their hearts in helping them. They give them priority over themselves, even if they themselves are needy. Whoever is protected from his natural greed, it is they who are the successful. And those who came after them, saying, Our Lord, forgive us, and our brethren who preceded us in faith, and leave no malice in our hearts towards those who believe. Our Lord, you are clement and merciful. Have you not considered those who act hypocritically? They say to their brethren who disbelieved among the people of the book, If you are evicted, we will leave with you, and will not obey anyone against you, and should anyone fight you, we will certainly support you. But Allah bears witness that they are liars. If they are evicted, they will not leave with them, and if anyone fights them, they will not support them, and if they go to their aid, they will turn their backs and flee, then they will receive no support. Fear of you is more intense in their hearts than fear of Allah. That is because they are a people who do not understand. They will not fight you altogether except from fortified strongholds, or from behind walls. Their hostility towards each other is severe. You would think they are united, but their hearts are diverse. That is because they are a people who do not understand. Like those shortly before them, they experienced the consequences of their decisions. For them is a painful punishment. Like the devil, when he says to the human being, disbelieve. But when he has disbelieved, he says, I am innocent of you, I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. The ultimate end for both of them is the fire, where they will dwell forever. Such is the requital for the wrongdoers. O you who believe! Fear Allah, and let every soul consider what it has forwarded for the morrow, and fear Allah. Allah is aware of what you do. And do not be like those who forgot Allah, so he made them forget themselves. These are the sinners. Not equal are the inhabitants of the fire and the inhabitants of paradise. It is the inhabitants of paradise who are the winners. Had we sent this Quran down on a mountain, you would have seen it trembling, crumbling in awe of Allah. These parables we cite for the people, so that they may reflect. He is Allah. There is no God but He, the knower of secrets and declarations. He is the compassionate, the merciful. He is Allah, besides whom there is no God, the sovereign, the holy, the peace giver, 
the faith giver, the overseer, the almighty, the omnipotent, the overwhelming. Glory be to Allah, beyond what they associate. He is Allah, the creator, the maker, the designer. His are the most beautiful names. Whatever is in the heavens and the earth glorifies him. He is the majestic, the wise. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. O you who believe! Do not take my enemies and your enemies for supporters, offering them affection, when they have disbelieved in what has come to you of the truth. They have expelled the messenger, and you, because you believed in Allah, your Lord. If you have mobilized to strive for my cause, seeking my approval, how can you secretly love them? I know what you conceal and what you reveal. Whoever among you does that has strayed from the right way. Whenever they encounter you, they treat you as enemies, and they stretch their hands and tongues against you with malice. They wish that you would disbelieve. Neither your relatives nor your children will benefit you on the day of resurrection. He will separate between you. Allah is observant of what you do. You have had an excellent example in Abraham and those with him, when they said to their people, We are quit of you, and what you worship apart from Allah. We denounce you. Enmity and hatred has surfaced between us and you, forever, until you believe in Allah alone. Except for the words of Abraham to his father, I will ask forgiveness for you, though I have no power from Allah to do anything for you. Our Lord, in you we trust, and to you we repent, and to you is the ultimate resort. Our Lord, do not make us a target for those who disbelieve, and forgive us, our Lord. You are indeed the mighty and wise. There is an excellent example in them for you, for anyone who seeks Allah and the last day. But whoever turns away, Allah is the self-sufficient, the most praised. Perhaps Allah will plant affection between you and those of them you consider enemies. Allah is capable. Allah is forgiving and merciful. As for those who have not fought against you for your religion, nor expelled you from your homes, Allah does not prohibit you from dealing with them kindly and equitably. Allah loves the equitable. But Allah prohibits you from befriending those who fought against you over your religion and expelled you from your homes, and aided in your expulsion. Whoever takes them for friends, these are the wrongdoers. O you who believe! When believing women come to you emigrating, test them. Allah is aware of their faith. And if you find them to be faithful, do not send them back to the unbelievers. They are not lawful for them, nor are they lawful for them but give them what they have spent. You are not at fault if you marry them, provided you give them their compensation. And do not hold on to ties with unbelieving women, but demand what you have spent, and let them demand what they have spent. This is the rule of Allah, He rules among you. Allah is knowing and wise. If any of your wives desert you to the unbelievers, and you decide to penalize them, give those whose wives have gone away the equivalent of what they had spent. And fear Allah, in whom you are believers. O Prophet! If believing women come to you, pledging allegiance to you, on condition that they will not associate anything with Allah, nor steal, nor commit adultery, nor kill their children, nor commit perjury as to parenthood, nor disobey you in anything righteous, accept their allegiance and ask Allah's forgiveness for them. Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who believe! Do not befriend people with whom Allah has become angry, and have despaired of the hereafter, as the faithless have despaired of the occupants of the graves. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Everything in the heavens and the earth praises Allah. He is the Almighty, the wise. O you who believe! Why do you say what you do not do? It is most hateful to Allah that you say what you do not do. Allah loves those who fight in His cause, in ranks, as though they were a compact structure. When Moses said to his people, O my people, why do you hurt me, 
although you know that I am Allah's messenger to you. And when they swerved, Allah swerved their hearts. Allah does not guide the sinful people. And when Jesus son of Mary said, O children of Israel, I am Allah's messenger to you, confirming what preceded me of the Torah, and announcing good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad. But when he showed them the miracles, they said, This is obvious sorcery. And who is a great wrongdoer than he who attributes falsehoods to Allah, when he is being invited to Islam? Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. They want to extinguish Allah's light with their mouths, but Allah will complete his light, even though the disbelievers dislike it. It is he who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion, to make it prevail over all religions, even though the idolaters dislike it. O you who believe! Shall I inform you of a trade that will save you from a painful torment? That you believe in Allah and his messenger, and strive in the cause of Allah with your possessions and yourselves. That is best for you, if you only knew. He will forgive you your sins, and will admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow, and into beautiful mansions in the gardens of Eden. That is the supreme success. And something else you love, support from Allah, and imminent victory. So give good news to the believers. O you who believe. Be supporters of Allah, as Jesus son of Mary said to the disciples, Who are my supporters towards Allah? The disciples said, We are Allah's supporters. So a group of the children of Israel believed, while another group disbelieved. We supported those who believed against their foe, so they became dominant. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorifies Allah the Sovereign, the Holy, the Almighty, the Wise. It is He who sent among the unlettered a messenger from themselves, reciting His revelations to them, and purifying them, and teaching them the scripture and wisdom, although they were in obvious error before that. And others from them, who have not yet joined them. He is the glorious, the wise. That is Allah's grace, which he grants to whomever he wills. Allah is possessor of limitless grace. The example of those who were entrusted with the Torah, but then failed to uphold it, is like the donkey carrying works of literature. Miserable is the example of the people who denounce Allah's revelations. Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. Say, O you who follow Judaism, if you claim to be the chosen of Allah, to the exclusion of the rest of mankind, then wish for death if you are sincere. But they will not wish for it, ever, due to what their hands have advanced. Allah knows well the wrongdoers. Say, the death from which you flee will catch up with you, then you will be returned to the knower of the invisible and the visible, and he will inform you of what you used to do. O you who believe! When the call is made for prayer on Congregation Day, hasten to the remembrance of Allah, and drop all business. That is better for you, if you only knew. Then, when the prayer is concluded, disperse through the land, and seek Allah's bounty, and remember Allah much, so that you may prosper. Yet whenever they come across some business, or some entertainment, they scramble towards it, and leave you standing. Say, what is with Allah is better than entertainment and business, and Allah is the best of providers. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. When the hypocrites come to you, they say, we bear witness that you are Allah's messenger. Allah knows that you are his messenger, and Allah bears witness that the hypocrites are liars. They treat their oaths as a cover, and so they repel others from Allah's path. Evil is what they do. That is because they believed, and then disbelieved, so their hearts were sealed, and they cannot understand. When you see them, their appearance impresses you. And when they speak, you listen to what they say. They are like propped up timber. They think every shout is aimed at them. They are the enemy, so beware of them. Allah condemns them, how deluded they are. And when it is said to them, Come, 
the messenger of Allah will ask forgiveness for you, they bend their heads, and you see them turning away arrogantly. It is the same for them, whether you ask forgiveness for them, or do not ask forgiveness for them, Allah will not forgive them. Allah does not guide the sinful people. It is they who say, do not spend anything on those who side with Allah's messenger, unless they have dispersed. To Allah belong the treasures of the heavens and the earth, but the hypocrites do not understand. They say, if we return to the city, the more powerful therein will evict the weak. But power belongs to Allah, and his messenger, and the believers, but the hypocrites do not know. O you who believe! Let neither your possessions nor your children distract you from the remembrance of Allah. Whoever does that, these are the losers. And give from what we have provided for you, before death approaches one of you, and he says, My Lord, if only you would delay me for a short while, so that I may be charitable, and be one of the righteous. But Allah will not delay a soul when its time has come. Allah is informed of what you do. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Everything in the heavens and the earth praises Allah. To Him belongs the kingdom, and to Him all praise is due, and He is able to do all things. It is He who created you. Some of you are unbelievers, and some of you are believers. And Allah perceives what you do. He created the heavens and the earth with truth, and He designed you, and designed you well, and to Him is the final return. He knows everything in the heavens and the earth, and He knows what you conceal and what you reveal. And Allah knows what is within the hearts. Has the news not reached you, of those who disbelieved before? They tasted the ill consequences of their conduct, and a painful torment awaits them. That is because their messengers came to them with clear explanations, but they said, Are human beings going to guide us? So they disbelieved and turned away. But Allah is in no need. Allah is independent and praiseworthy. Those who disbelieve claim that they will not be resurrected. Say, Yes indeed, by my Lord, you will be resurrected, then you will be informed of everything you did, and that is easy for Allah. So believe in Allah and His Messenger, and the light which we sent down. Allah is aware of everything you do. The day when He gathers you for the day of gathering, that is the day of mutual exchange. Whoever believes in Allah and acts with integrity, he will remit his misdeeds, and will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow, to dwell therein forever. That is the supreme achievement. But as for those who disbelieve and denounce our revelations, these are the inmates of the fire, dwelling therein forever, and what a miserable fate! No disaster occurs except by Allah's leave. Whoever believes in Allah, he guides his heart. Allah is aware of everything. So obey Allah, and obey the Messenger. But if you turn away, it is only incumbent on our Messenger to deliver the clear message. Allah, there is no God but He, and in Allah let the believers put their trust. O you who believe! Among your wives and your children are enemies to you, so beware of them. But if you pardon, and overlook, and forgive, Allah is forgiver and merciful. Your possessions and your children are a test, but with Allah is a splendid reward. So be conscious of Allah as much as you can, and listen, and obey and give for your own good. He who is protected from his stinginess, these are the prosperous. If you lend Allah a good loan, he will multiply it for you, and will forgive you. Allah is appreciative and forbearing. The knower of the unseen and the seen, the almighty, the wise. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. O Prophet! If any of you divorce women, divorce them during their period of purity, and calculate their term. And be pious before Allah, your Lord. And do not evict them from their homes, nor shall they leave, unless they have committed a proven adultery. These are the limits of Allah, whoever oversteps Allah's limits has wronged his own soul. You never know, 
Allah may afterwards bring about a new situation. Once they have reached their term, either attain them honorably, or separate from them honorably. And call to witness two just people from among you, and give upright testimony for Allah. By that is exhorted whoever believes in Allah and the last day. And whoever fears Allah, he will make a way out for him. And will provide for him from where he never expected. Whoever relies on Allah, he will suffice him. Allah will accomplish his purpose. Allah has set a measure to all things. As for those of your women who have reached menopause, if you have any doubts, their term shall be three months, and also for those who have not menstruated. As for those who are pregnant, their term shall be until they have delivered. Whoever fears Allah, he will make things easy for him. This is the ordinance of Allah, which he sent down to you. Whoever fears Allah, he will remit his sins, and will amplify his reward. Allow them to reside where you reside, according to your means, and do not harass them in order to make things difficult for them. If they are pregnant, spend on them until they give birth. And if they nurse your infant, give them their payment. And conduct your relation in amity. But if you disagree, then let another woman nurse him. The wealthy shall spend according to his means, and he whose resources are restricted shall spend according to what Allah has given him. Allah never burdens a soul beyond what he has given it. Allah will bring ease after hardship. How many a town defied the command of its Lord and his messengers? So we held it strictly accountable, and we punished it with a dreadful punishment. It tasted the result of its decisions and the outcome of its decisions was perdition. Allah has prepared for them a severe attribution. So beware of Allah, O you who possess intellect and have faith. Allah has sent down to you a reminder. A messenger who recites to you Allah's verses, clear and distinct, that he may bring those who believe and work righteousness from darkness into light. Whoever believes in Allah and acts with integrity, he will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow, therein to abide forever. Allah has given him an excellent provision. Allah is he who created seven heavens, and their like of earth. The command descends through them, so that you may know that Allah is capable of everything, and that Allah encompasses everything in knowledge. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. O Prophet! Why do you prohibit what Allah has permitted for you, seeking to please your wives? Allah is forgiving and merciful. Allah has decreed for you the dissolution of your oaths. Allah is your master. He is the all-knowing, the most wise. The Prophet told something in confidence to one of his wives. But when she disclosed it, and Allah made it known to him, he communicated part of it, and he avoided another part. Then, when he informed her of it, she said, Who informed you of this? He said, The all-knowing, the all-informed, informed me. If you repent to Allah, then your hearts have listened. But if you band together against him, then Allah is his ally, as is Gabriel, and the righteous believers. In addition, the angels will assist him. Perhaps, if he divorces you, his Lord will give him in exchange wives better than you, submissive, believing, obedient, penitent, devout, fasting, previously married, or virgins. O you who believe! Protect yourselves and your families from a fire, whose fuel is people and stones. Over it are angels, fierce and powerful. They never disobey Allah in anything he commands them and they carry out whatever they are commanded. O oh, you who disbelieved! Make no excuses today. You are being repaid for what you used to do. O oh, you who believe! Repent to Allah with sincere repentance. Perhaps your Lord will remit your sins, and admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow, on the day when Allah will not disappoint the Prophet and those who believed with him. Their light streaming before them, and to their right, they will say, Our Lord, complete our light for us, and forgive us, 
you are capable of all things. O Prophet! Strive hard against the disbelievers and the hypocrites, and be stern with them. Their abode is hell. What a miserable destination! Allah illustrates an example of those who disbelieve, the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot. They were under two of our righteous servants, but they betrayed them. They availed them nothing against Allah, and it was said, Enter the fire with those who are entering. And Allah illustrates an example of those who believe, the wife of Pharaoh, when she said, My Lord, build for me, with you, a house in paradise, and save me from Pharaoh and his works, and save me from the wrongdoing people. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her womb, and so we breathed into her of our spirit, and she believed in the truth of her Lord's words and his books, and was one of the devout. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Blessed is he in whose hand is the sovereignty, and who has power over everything. He who created death and life, to test you, as to which of you is better in conduct. He is the Almighty, the Forgiving. He who created seven heavens in layers. You see no discrepancy in the creation of the compassionate. Look again. Can you see any cracks? Then look again, and again, and your sight will return to you dazzled and exhausted. We have adorned the lower heaven with lanterns, and made them missiles against the devils, and we have prepared for them the punishment of the blaze. For those who reject their Lord, there is the torment of hell. What an evil destination! When they are thrown into it, they will hear it roaring, as it seethes. It almost bursts with fury. Every time a batch is thrown into it, its keepers will ask them, Has no warner come to you? They will say, Yes, a warner did come to us, but we disbelieved, and said, Allah did not send down anything, you are very much mistaken. And they will say, Had we listened or reasoned, we would not have been among the inmates of the blaze. So they will acknowledge their sins. So away with the inmates of the blaze. As for those who fear their Lord in secret, for them is forgiveness and a great reward. Whether you keep your words secret, or declare them, he is aware of the inner thoughts. Would he not know, he who created? He is the refined, the expert. It is he who made the earth manageable for you, so travel its regions, and eat of his provisions. To him is the resurgence. Are you confident that the one in heaven will not cause the earth to collapse beneath you as it spins? Or are you confident that the one in heaven will not unleash against you a violent storm? Then you will know what my warning is like. Those before them also denied the truth, and how was my disapproval? Have they not seen the birds above them, spreading their wings, and folding them? None holds them except the compassionate. He is perceiver of everything. Or who is this who is a force for you to protect you against the compassionate? The disbelievers are in nothing but delusion. Or who is this that will provide for you, if he withholds his provision? Yet they persist in defiance and aversion. Is he who walks bent on his own design better guided, or he who walks upright on a straight path? Say, it is he who produced you, and made for you the hearing and the vision, and the organs. But rarely do you give thanks. Say, it is he who scattered you on earth, and to him you will be rounded up. And they say, when will this promise be fulfilled, if you are truthful? Say, knowledge is with Allah, and I am only a clear warner. But when they see it approaching, the faces of those who disbelieved will turn gloomy, and it will be said, this is what you used to call for. Say, have you considered? Should Allah make me perish, and those with me, or else he bestows his mercy on us, who will protect the disbelievers from an agonizing torment? Say, he is the compassionate. We have faith in him, and in him we trust. Soon you will know who is in evident error. Say, have you considered? If your water drains away, who will bring you pure running water?